So how do we convert 180 degrees into radians? Well, it turns out that we first need to know a relationship between the two. In other words, that pi radians is going to be equivalent to 180 degrees. After I know this relationship between the two, any time, by the way, you're converting between any two units, you want to see if you know a relationship between those two. It turns out you don't necessarily need to, but you need to know a way, a relative way to get from one to the other. So these are nice and simple, relatively simple conversions because we know the relationships between them directly. Now, after I know that, after I know that I know the relationship, all right, the next step is then going to be to take the given value of 180 degrees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the word degree instead of the symbol. And now I'm going to set up my conversion fraction here. Okay, and this conversion fraction, what goes into this conversion fraction is known, a known relationship between radians and degrees. So that's why I did that part first. Now I want degrees to cancel. So whatever unit you're starting with, you're basically going to take the unit from your known conversion with the number and just go boop, plug it in in the denominator. Now what that what happens there is the degrees will cancel. That's the whole point. I don't want degrees anymore. I want radians. And therefore the other value, radians, goes in the numerator. Okay? So mathematically now speaking, your answer will be in terms of radians. So guess what? The only thing left to do is then to simplify if you want and the 180s will cancel, and wait a minute, it's just pi. Yes, it is just pi, right? You know this, right? Think of your unit, think of your coordinate system. You know in terms of degrees, that's 0 and 90s up here, and 180s over there, and 270s over there, right? We rotate counterclockwise, positive here. And then in your unit circle, or in your coordinate system for radians, this is 0, this is then pi over 2 radians, this is then pi, this is then 3 halves pi, right, blah, blah, blah. And OMG, 180 is the same thing as pi radians. That's literally what we just found. 180 degrees is pi radians. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Okay, hopefully that helps. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.